All right, from the first play of uh, last week's game, the flute flicker from Cody to, to Nick Ward, uh, you guys really came out of the blocks firing. Uh, your thoughts on last week's 33 to 13 win over Central Valley in the league opener? Uh, yeah, that was exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to come out a little bit more uh, wide open uh, and and really put the throttle down a little bit early. And uh, I thought we did. I thought we did a pretty good job of that. You know, the, we worked on that flea flicker all week. And, uh, you know, it was the first play we ran every day, every day of practice. And it paid off. So uh, I was pleased offensively. You know, we put up a bunch of yards. Uh, you know, we, we had some solid drives. Uh, you know, it wasn't the, it wasn't the you know, one play, two play type drives, you know, uh, that type of offense, which is fine with me. Um, you know, we can control the clock and, and let our defense kind of give us the ball back a little bit at times. So, uh, all in all, offensively, I thought we, we did very well. I mean, I, I, was, I was pleased with the effort. Uh, last week, Central Catholic traveled to Livingston, and, you know, they really held on for, what was it, 32-27 win. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys traveled there this week. Both teams are 5-1 and one overall. Uh, what can you expect from this matchup heading uh, heading over to Livingston on Friday? Well, uh, it, historically, you know, it, it's it's pretty much been proven this year that this is not the the Livingston teams uh, and programs of the past. And we've had um, we've had some success with these guys, um, and you know, so it's central. And so they they were able to get um, you know get into a game with them and hang around and and, and be competitive the entire time, which is exactly what we. Uh, you know, plan on those guys doing to us. I mean, they're 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 a type of team where they have a lot of confidence. Um, they got a lot of um, speed on uh, going sideline to sideline, and um, and they're competitive. And that's why you know there's a reason why they're five and one. It's not um, it has nothing to do with um, any certain calls down the road or, or schedule and whatnot. It's they're competitive. They they fight to stay in games, and that's what they did on Friday. And, and for our guys, I mean. They know it's going to be a very competitive game uh, because they've had uh, games with these guys, you know, at the JV level, the varsity level, where it's been close at times. And, and last year, our JV guys, um, Livingston got our JV guys last year. And so they have a little bit of extra motivation for that. And um, you could even go back as far as eighth grade, these guys, you know, Livingston got, got in our guys. So um, it's definitely going to be a competitive game from, from the very beginning I, I, and all the way through. I, I expect that just as much as it was the game they had on Friday. Is it safe to say that uh, you know, every, every league game is important, obviously, but is it safe to say that this one is uh, holding a little bit extra, being that both programs are coming in with, uh, with, with a lot of momentum? Yeah, I think, yeah, anytime you're, we're both four, you know, five and one. I, you know, they, they stumbled last Friday and got the loss, but I, I still think they have momentum because of uh, nobody expected them to even come close uh, to Central, even though they were five and zero oh and Central had a different record. So um, it, it, it was, that's a huge confidence booster for them. So if anything, they're going to play harder and better than they did on Friday. And so um, because they want to be able to finish the job, I think, that, you know, that they put out there against Central coming so close. Uh, they had some very close plays in that game that, you know, the game could have very easily been at halftime. It could have been 21-20 Livingston. And so knowing that and how well they played against a, a top-notch team like Central, I think that's just going to give them a little bit more motivation for us. And so we have to be able to, to expect that and, and plan for that. And, and uh, like I said, you know, we expect nothing less from any opponent that we see. You guys, uh, you know, a few bumps and bruises against Central Valley, but you did get a few players back, uh, such as uh, Ephraim Jones and uh, Anthony McCaskill. Uh, talk about being able to go into league season uh, with almost, a, I guess you can call it a full, a full roster, but also to get some of those kids back and contributing and uh, really helping out towards the stretch run. Yeah, the, you know, anytime you can get guys back from an injury or back from uh, any kind of a setback, it's big because. Um, they haven't been with you for so long, and you know Anthony hadn't been been around and since you know the Granada week, and um, and pretty much Ephraim, Ephraim in the same way. And so uh, getting those guys back and, and seeing them perform and, and do you know do well for us, um, it just means that, you know they're 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 going to add to our depth. You know, like you said, down the road, and then when it comes time for playoffs in the league in a conference play stretch, you need that, and so uh, that helps us a lot. It helps us a lot with. Uh, you know, if somebody stumbles and doesn't maybe have the best game, you know, then they've got um, somebody right there to pick them up you know, and pick up where they left off. At the same time, uh, you know, it seems like the kids are playing with a lot of confidence right now too. 
Obviously, it probably stems from you know a four-game winning streak and a, and a very good record, but also probably says something about the character of these kids and, and a lot of them who have been playing with each other, like you said, since they were you know small children. Talk about uh, you know the character of your boys and, and moving forward, the confidence that they're playing with at this point. Yeah, confidence is huge, and and um, they're definitely playing with that. You know, they 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 you know I see them on Monday before you know during during class and and. Uh, and before school or before practice, and they're excited to come to practice. And so um, the guys are excited on Monday for the game on Friday, and it just builds and builds and builds. And, they, you know, that's just all part of the, the, the way these guys are. They're confident in what they're, do, what they're doing, and uh, they're very intense in what they do. So um, it's a good combination, you know. It, it's a very good combination uh, because it just builds that competitive fire. And we try to really develop it a lot more in the, in the off season and competing in different things that we did in the off season with with the weight room and and really just making an effort to to instill that intensity early and it's actually it's been working really well for us so um, but the, you know the kids you, 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 it, it ultimately comes down to are they the type of kid that can that can do that and we got those guys